what's up guys my name is Kobo Man and in the previous video we went ahead and installed this um, motherboard underneath but now we're going to install this radiator or a cooler if you will uh, but for that this is a custom cooler for our uh, CPU it's uh, fairly awesome but we need to install it in a special way so because it's definitely not a standard right so let me just show you real quick see here's the end of it right here and this is going to go on top of this CPU right here so we can cool it, okay? And we're going to install it right over here. But first, we got to make sure we remove some of these parts here. There's just some kind of a, a padding here that we need to remove. And we're going to go ahead and install this radiator right up here just as, as so. So in order for me to get to this top part here, I have to remove these these padding here underneath here as I shown previously but in order to do that I have to remove these top screws um, from the top so that way I can take them off and we have an open vent here you know so let's go ahead and do it. okay and that's the first one and I'm gonna do the same thing for this other one Alright guys, so I went ahead and adjusted the camera angle a little bit here so that my hands are free. But as you can tell here, I removed this bottom part here so that way we can put our uh, cooler right up here. We have to mount it right here, right? So as you can see, now it's see-through and now we can uh, have space to put our cooler in. So let's go ahead and do that. Guys, looks like there's going to be a tight fit. Um, if it, it may not even fit like as so. So I may have to uh, remove this fan back there. Make sure, yeah, it's really too tight. I'm going to have to remove this fan back here so that way I can insert this thing in there. Okay. Okay, now that our system fan here is out of the way, we should be able to put this in no problem. It's, again, it's a still tight fit, but it looks like it's going to work, you know. So that's a good thing, right? I'm just going to leave that there for now. Until I get a couple and for this, a bunch of different screws came, but we're going to use these smaller ones with some washers. Okay. Alright guys, so I finally got this um, radiator in with these fans and, and the reason I couldn't show you uh, actually me doing it step by step is because it was a it was a bit difficult to put it in because it's not a perfect fit. And the main reason is because it would not go all the way down due to the fact that this motherboard has this chip set here. Uh, this cooler on this chip set is blocking it so it doesn't um, unfortunately, they can't go all the way down. So it's not a perfect fit. It's slightly on an angle here, but it's not too bad, okay? And let me just show you real quick. Up here, I, I only was able to use three screws. So it's not a perfect fit, but it works pretty well. You know, it's going to be all right. So there's one right there. There's one over here, and there's one over, over on this side, too. So it's uh, three screws Three screws is, is uh, enough to hold it in. I mean, this is pretty light, made out of aluminum, after all. So that's that's okay, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> it is what it is. It's just the design of this motherboard just kind of happened to be just like that. So that's unfortunate, but you know. And I also had to take this out in order to squeeze this in. And you know, it kind of made it a little bit more challenging. But it's solid in there. It, it's, uh, it's not gonna go anywhere once we're done with it. So uh, let's go ahead and finish this up and mount our top. Um, part of the heatsink that goes directly onto our uh, uh, processor okay so we're gonna mount this bad boy over here okay and we got extra cables here I'm just gonna remove this um, whatchamacallit uh, twisty twisty twist 
Okay. And then we got these. These are just a, a pan control type of plugs. Let me just make sure that it's focused in nicely. We can get this. And I'm going to take this plastic off. I made sure that these spacers are in. And I think I talked about them earlier when I had a... Uh, when I was putting in this motherboard, but basically on the other side of this, in order to install this, you have to put a plate behind this uh, motherboard, right? And then you have to put these spacers in, as you can see them here. And once more, just to make sure that you guys have a, a clear view of it. And then this goes on top of it, and we're going to use these uh, kind of hefty nuts on there as well. And we should be able to install them pretty easily. I'm just going to take this plastic cover off. Okay. And yeah, like this, like I said, it's not a perfect fit for this thing. So um, these uh, hoses are kind of running over here. Let me just show you a little bit here. Kind of running over here towards the uh, where the CD-ROM is going to go, but it should be all right. Uh, it's better than over here on this side, otherwise this fan would be um, hitting it. So, Okay, so let's find a good angle and insert this bad boy in there. And hopefully all goes well. Um, given that I've only gotten uh, one certain... Um, I've gotten multiple type of spacers in. So I'm hoping these are the good ones that I've picked. Because the only ones I got screws for are the nuts or the top uh, are the ones that I already inserted so hopefully this works and so we're just gonna make sure that it's aligned up here I'm just gonna lower it down and it feels like it has a solid connection on both so that's a good thing okay so I'm just gonna take my um, nuts just gonna screw them on there one by one and then I'm gonna I'm just going to hand tighten them, not hand tie, just hand tighten, and I'm going to use my screwdriver to adjust the tightness accordingly, you know, but you got to be careful though when you, when you insert this, you don't want to flex the motherboard too much or anything else, you know, every time you put something, whether it's, whether it's a computer or a car or anything that you have nuts and bolts on, you never want to tighten like one bolt or a nut all the way down right away because the, because if things are not aligned first you gotta make sure everything's aligned first right and then you tighten it all the way down first later you know but of course we can't use a lot of force on these either you know like you know it's electronics you know it's kind of common sense so this is really cool stuff you know and it feels like it's fitting on there pretty good I feel a solid fit on there I may not even use a screwdriver on this because I'm thinking it's going to be really good as it is. And like again, like again, just goes lightly on these. And that should do it. You know. Just hand tighten. And it looks really solid, guys, on there. So so that's awesome. Okay, guys, uh, I'm glad we got this part um, rectified, if you will. In my next video, I'm going to start plugging in these fan connection stuff and pump, water pump or whatever. Um, looks like there's a USB type of control here too, so we'll see. It's a fan control type of thing on the jig, if you will. And I'm going to install the, the CD-ROM hard drive, um, CD-ROM hard drive over down here, uh, and we're going to make it snappy afterwards. So look forward to the next video, and after that, I might as well connect the. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to connect. Uh, depending on the length of the video, I'll connect the. Uh, the video card on there as well so and you know we'll see uh, I might make it it might be another two part or, or two more videos after this we'll see just how long it takes so thank you very much for watching uh, so you don't miss out the next video go ahead and subscribe below here and I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye bye